I guess it's just exciting to see all the new solutions that these fintechs are solving, especially in the digital asset space where we've grown that ecosystem quite a lot this year, providing the way for banks to actually transition from Web 2 to Web 3. From Australia, yep. what, um, what is it about the sandbox element at uh, Naya One and really the whole fintech landscape? What is it about that that appeals to you on a personal level? So, having worked in the bank, trying to work with fintech companies, it's where we learnt that that's really hard for all organisations, all regulated institutions and large, large corporates to work with small companies and having worked with small companies for, for most of my life and then worked in banks um, it's really challenging and, and we worked with many small companies in the bank and on one particular situation we saw them die because of how difficult it was to actually work with us. We called them back and we said hey we're good to go we really like your solution they said we've, we've run out of money I've taken another job like we, we just couldn't do it uh, and while it was a good solution, there was motivated buyers inside, it just couldn't happen. And that's what we're, we're, we're solving through the fintech as a service. Oh, well, I get that. What about yourself, though? Yeah, so what, what, <laughs> what, what, what motivates me? Well, it's that you have founders who are super passionate about what they do, and they want to solve problems. But it's a, it's a huge, I mean, they're the underdogs in the whole thing. And um, everyone loves a, a good underdog and making an even playing field for what, what, uh, for the market. And we just want to help founders grow and, and grow their businesses. And for me, what, I, what really excites me is um, giving them that platforms for them to grow and making their first sale, helping them scale their, scale their solutions that are doing real good for or changing the banks and, and, and changing the what they at, well, how the banks are set up and what they do. Um, so I want to see the, the banks transform to be like and actually work a lot better with the, their for their own customers. I like that. I was looking at your uh, booth here at Cybos and you had all, all of the kind of companies that you're working with. You know, yeah, yeah, people yeah. That we know well like Infus and Miniga. Yep. As an example, what are some of the kind of companies that you're working with, and uh, who's your uh, who, who are some of your favourites? So we work, we've got over 150 companies on the marketplace, and across uh, about 15 different industries, um, and it all it ranges everywhere from Stripe and Klarna, all the way down to some smaller Series A, Series B companies, um, and I think um, I guess it's just exciting to see all the new solutions that these fintechs are solving, especially in the digital asset space where we've grown that ecosystem quite a lot this year, providing the way for banks to actually transition from Web 2 to Web 3. Um, there are a heap of uh, fintechs that we, we work with. What's uh, Web 3, Andrew? Web 3 is where the consumer take control. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> Smash that one. Uh, <laughs> learning, learning. I like that, I like that.